if you were asked who the greatest Premier League goalkeeper of all time was, no matter what team you support, it's almost impossible to have this conversation without mentioning the name Petr Cech. Even Gianluigi Buffon has named Cech as the best goalkeeper of his era, saying the best goalkeeper with his feet was Pepe Reina. In the air, it's Manuel Neuer, and with his hands, it's Iker Casillas. But overall, I'd say it's Petr Cech. And looking at the insane amount of records and achievements speaks volumes to the goalkeeping greatness of Petr Cech. But what if I told you as great as he was, he could have been even greater if it wasn't for a traumatizing injury he received at the height of his prime that, I kid you not, almost nearly ended his life, which forced him to completely change the way he plays. But even despite that, he was just so naturally good at goalkeeping that he would go on to continue doing so for another professional sport outside of football. So sit back as we look through the career of Petr Cech, because I just might very well convince you that he is beyond a doubt the greatest Premier League goalkeeper in history and certainly belongs up there as one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time. Unlike most of the all-time great goalkeepers, Petr Cech never started off in front of goal. In fact, when he was younger, what Petr Cech loved most about football was the idea of scoring goals. However, since a young age, Petr Cech would already have bad luck when it came to injuries. Because at the incredibly early age of 10, Petr Cech would break his leg in training, an event that traumatized the youngster so much that on that moment, he would give up on scoring goals completely then decided to play a much less physical and a much safer position, defending the goal as a goalkeeper. But Petr Cech, despite the early trauma and fear of injury, had incredible reflexes and agility, even as one of the bigger kids on the squad. And instead of seeing another Zlatan-sized striker in the making at 6'5", or 1.96 meters tall, he would use his athleticism, size, and agility to quickly turn into a goalkeeping prodigy. Then, when he turned 18 years old, he would immediately transition into first team play in the Czech First League, eventually catching the interest of the country's biggest and most historic club, Sparta Prague. And in just his very first season with them, he would go on to break the Czech First League record for the longest time without conceding a goal. An incredible 903 minutes that the 19-year-old Petr Cech would go before he let any ball get past him, which is about 10 entire matches in a row, maintaining a clean sheet as a teenager. At such an insanely young age, Cech was already getting recognized as a goalkeeping prodigy. A goalkeeper in his teens with that much promise had not been seen in a long time. In fact, before he could even play two full seasons with Sparta Prague. Petr Cech attracted so much interest from other clubs that he almost joined Arsenal in 2002. But because of FA rules and regulations, obtaining a work permit was incredibly difficult at the time. And so instead of moving to England a few years earlier than he originally would, Cech would be off to Ligue 1 to play for Rennes. But even then, his time in France was incredibly short, as Cech would only continue to get more and more popular. Like how in his very first match for Rennes against PSG, he would win the Man of the Match award and thanks to his incredible goalkeeping efforts, just barely managed to help the historically mid-team avoid relegation. Now, at 21 years old, Cech was already one of the most sought-after goalkeepers in the world, and Jose Mourinho, who had just been appointed as manager of Chelsea, had his sights on no other keeper than Petr Cech. And Mourinho was so confident in Czech, he was willing to spend what was at the time the most money the club had ever spent on a keeper just to sign him from Ren for about 7 million euros. And the moment the Czech stepped on the pitch for Chelsea, he would go on to continuously make history. Week after week, Czech would put on incredible goalkeeping displays, even managing to keep a clean sheet in his very first appearance against a fierce Man United squad. Then later going on to set a new Premier League record for the most minutes without conceding a goal an insane 1,025 minutes, eventually helping Chelsea win the 2004-05 League title and a League Cup with his incredible goalkeeping. Being named the IFFHS World's Best Goalkeeper, the 2005 Best European Goalkeeper, the UEFA Club Best Goalkeeper, being named in the UEFA Team of the Year, and being handed the Premier League Golden Glove. Then to top it all off, set a Premier League record that hasn't been broken till this very day, with the most clean sheets in a single season, with 24. An absolutely insane amount of accolades in just his very first season in the Premier League. 
Czech was starting to gain global respect and recognition, and he was indeed one of the most must-watch goalkeepers in the world that you just had to see for yourself, because missing out on watching him would mean missing out on all the talk. And you need to make sure that you aren't one of those people who miss out on some must-see events. That's why today's sponsor, SeatGeek, has you covered. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app, and there are more than 70,000 events happening every single day on SeatGeek, including sports, concerts, festivals, and many more. More. For example, with SeatGeek, you can make sure that you have the chance to witness Lionel Messi play before he retires, or get a chance to watch Drake while he's on tour. And with SeatGeek's rating system, you can quickly see which tickets are a good deal, the green ones or a bad deal, the red ones. SeatGeek is safe, easy, and a guaranteed way to get the best deals for whatever tickets you need. Plus, every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site to let you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And right now, SeatGeek has come through for you guys, because you can use my code RAYMAR for $20 off your first purchase. That's right, $20 off your first purchase with promo code RAYMAR. So make sure you click the link in the description and download SeatGeek today. Thanks to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. But anyways, in the 2005-2006 season, just his second year with Chelsea, Chelsea would win the Community Shield and were crowned back-to-back -back Premier League champions, with better check only conceding 22 goals throughout the entire season, while also winning his first of nearly a dozen Czech Football of the Year awards in his career. Czech really was your perfectly rounded goalkeeper. His athleticism, agility, acrobatics, and quick reaction on top of that large frame made him a monster at shot-stopping and just having unbelievably insane reflexes. Only saving especially. Czech was one of the best keepers to ever do it, and in those years, Czech would regularly come out of his line aggressively and deal with crosses, one-on-ones, and sweeping the ball if the opposition had beaten the offside trap. But just like when he was a kid, he would suffer another traumatic experience that forced him to change his style of play completely. After going through a minor shoulder injury just a few months before the start of the season, during a match against Reading on October 14, 2006, Petr Cech would dive for the ball and collide directly with Reading player Stephen Hunt. At first, it didn't look that serious and nobody thought much of it, until they realized Petr Cech was incredibly concussed and almost unable to move, needing to be stretched out and rushed to the nearest hospital for emergency surgery. Because the impact with Stephen Hunt was actually so hard, it caused a literal depression in his skull. With doctors claiming if he was hit any harder, perhaps with Stephen Hunt's knee, instead of his shin, Petr Cech would have nearly died. And for the doubtful, x-ray images show just how deep of a fracture his skull received from that hit. And even looking back at it, Petr Cech quite literally cannot remember what happened during the injury itself, as the brain trauma was just incredibly hard, causing slight memory loss and incredibly unbearable headaches for weeks to come. Cech would need several months to recover and without their incredible goalkeeper, Chelsea would fall second in league standings and fail to achieve the Premier League 3 beat. And since the injury, Petr Cech would be so traumatized that ever since he would recover, he would continue to play every match of his career, wearing that iconic protective headgear. And like I said, that injury forced Czech to be much less aggressive as a goalkeeper, turning him from a proactive one to a reactive one. And he had to make up for that loss of explosiveness that gave him those record-setting numbers by instead opting to improve his positioning and timing. But incredibly enough, in 2007, after the injury, Czech would go on to keep a clean sheet for an incredible 810 minutes of play, earning him the Premier League Player of the Month award and making him the first goalkeeper to win the award in nearly a decade, helping his team win the FA Cup while also becoming the fastest goalkeeper in Premier League history to ever reach 50 clean sheets. But unfortunately, throughout the next few seasons, Petr Cech would suffer a string of minor to mid injuries from his calves to his hips and even his ankle, leading up to 2008 where luck would once again be against him, as he would undergo chin surgery due to an incident at training, in which he was hit in his jaw, causing him to have 50 stitches around his chin. But despite the less than great form, Cech would return and help Chelsea make it all the way to the 2008 Champions League final. But unfortunately, they would lose 5-6 in a penalty shootout after John Terry would infamously miss the final shot. Just an incredibly unlucky season overall, not only for his personal injuries, but also for club success, as they would finish second in the league, League Cup, Community Shield, and Champions League. But despite missing out on quite a few matches, Petr Cech would only concede 7 goals and kept 11 clean sheets in 17 matches. And it wouldn't be until the 2009-10 season that Cech and Chelsea would achieve Premier League glory once more. In the Community Shield final against Man United, Cech would save 2 penalties, while also becoming the fastest goalkeeper to ever reach 100 clean sheets, winning his third Premier League title along the way. And in the FA Cup final, he would save a penalty from Kevin prince Boateng to secure the domestic double and win his second Premier League Golden glove award. 
then in the 2011-2012 season, although Chelsea would go off to a poor start in the league due to Czech being out for a couple of months because of another knee injury, he and Chelsea would finally have their moment of revenge in the Champions League because Petr Cech would pull off one of the greatest Champions League final goalkeeping performances of all time when he would save a penalty in extra time against an elite player like Arjen Robben, then would save two more in the penalty shootout to beat Bayern Munich 4-3 and finally lift the trophy. I mean, Courtois had an insane goalkeeping performance in the 2022 Champions League final, but I still think the Czech's performance was even more brilliant. Then in the very following season, Chelsea would make it all the way to the Europa League final against Benfica and lift the trophy as champions. And this would also be the year that Czech won his seventh Czech Player of the Year award, which I stopped mentioning because the man just won the award so many times, honestly. And by the 2013-14 season, Petr Cech would be the fourth goalkeeper in history to make 100 Champions League appearances behind Oliver Kahn, Iker Casillas, and Victor Valdez. Also putting on another monstrous performance in the Premier League, keeping 16 clean sheets and winning his third Premier League Golden Glove. However, by the 2014-15 season, Courtois would slowly start to take Petr Cech's starting spot on the squad as he would suffer another string of shoulder, back, and knee injuries. However, as Courtois would get injured as well, Cech would be able to play in the League Cup final where he kept a clean sheet and helped Chelsea lift the trophy. This would also be the last time he would win the Premier League title, making it his fourth and final with the club. But ultimately, Cech just wasn't happy on the bench, so thus he would bid farewell to Chelsea after this final successful season and make his way over to Arsenal. And now, of course, this was seen as absolutely treasonous by some Chelsea fans, some of who even sent him death threats at the time, even more so as he would help Arsenal beat Chelsea for the 2015 Community Shield title while maintaining a clean sheet as well, eventually becoming the first goalkeeper in Premier League history to reach 200 clean sheets. And despite Arsenal's weaker defense that would ultimately lead them to finish second place in the league, everybody knew Cech was keeping them in the race with his absolutely brilliant goalkeeping, as he would win his fourth Premier League Golden Glove, making it the most in Premier League history, while also being the only Premier League goalkeeper to ever win the award with two different clubs. Just mind-blowing, honestly. And while Cech would never manage to win another Premier League title, he would help Arsenal win an additional Community Shield and FA Cup trophy, before finally retiring from football. But his goalkeeping journey wouldn't end there. Like I said, the man was so good at goalkeeping that at 38 years old, he would continue to defend the goal, not in football, but move over to play professional hockey as a goaltender. And at least now he has a lot more protective gear on him, which would definitely help with all the injury trauma he's received throughout his career. And in the making of this video, Czech is now 41 years old and continues to play professional hockey. Throughout his incredible career, Czech has won four Premier League titles, five FA Cup titles, four Community Shields, one Europa League title, and one Champions League title, while also being named the Czech Player of the Year for an insane nine times, winning the Premier League Golden Glove four times, winning UEFA's Best Goalkeeper Award three times, being named Europe's Best Goalkeeper four times, and holds a bunch of insane records that are honestly going to be incredibly hard to beat. He has the most Premier League clean sheets in history with 202, was the fastest to ever reach 50, 100, and 200 clean sheets, was the first keeper to go a thousand minutes without conceding a goal, has the record for the most Premier League clean sheets in a single season with 24, was the only goalkeeper to win the Premier League Golden Glove with two different clubs, and just a bunch more records for Chelsea that are honestly just too much to name and are probably never going to be broken. Imagine just how much better or greater could he have been if he had never received those horrific injuries and could play like his absolute best throughout his career.